close your eyes, watch your breath. When the breath comes in, make sure it's comfortable. When it goes out, make sure it's comfortable. If it feels too long or too short, you can change. If too heavy or too light, you can change that too. Try to give the mind a good place to stay here in the body, because otherwise it's going to go running out outside. And when it's running around like that, it doesn't have any strength. It's only when the mind is right here in the present moment that it has any strength to deal with the things that come, because there are lots of things that come in life, good and bad. And the problem is usually when bad things come our way, we respond in a bad way. And so that just keeps the cycle of bad karma going. What you want to learn how to do is to cut the cycle. So the three things that happen, there's the action, and then there's the result, and then there's the defilement that usually comes as a result of that result. And then we act based on that defilement again, so it goes around and around and around. Once the action has been done and the result comes, you can't, you can't cut that connection. But you can cut the connections with the, with the defilement. In other words, a bad result comes, but you can train the mind not to respond in, respond in a bad way. Or when the defilement comes up in the mind, you can make up your mind you're not going to act on it. Those are the places where you can cut the cycle. And so in, in order to have the strength not to follow through with our old habits, this is why we have to focus on the breath, get the mind centered here in the present moment. So when bad things come our way, we cut the cycle of a bad response and turn it into develop a good response if we can. It's like the old alchemists who tried to convert lead into gold. And that never really succeeded. But we can take the lead of difficult situations around you and you can turn it into the gold of your own good karma. So this is our alchemy that we do as we, as we practice. We need the concentration and we need the sense of being centered in the present moment to give us the strength so that we don't just go along with the flow, that we turn things around. Whatever's coming our way that's bad, that's harmful, okay, we learn how not to let the harm touch us. If someone else says something really upsetting, just let their words drop right there on the ground. You don't have to pick them up. And you take it as an opportunity to do something good in return. Difficult situations come, either to ourselves or the people we love. Okay, We learn how to take this as an opportunity to do something good for them. Don't try to take advantage of them while they're down. And don't just get upset about the situation. Figure out what is that you can do and do it. If it's something you can't do, then you have to learn how to develop equanimity for that so that you can focus on the things where you can be of help. It's in this way that we take the, the dross and the lead and all the other base metals around us, and we turn it into gold, the gold of our good intentions, the gold of our good thoughts, our good words, our good deeds. This is a really important skill. The old alchemists never succeeded, but the Buddha found the way that you can take the alchemy of the mind and turn the situations around you into gold. Not material gold, but the gold of good karma. So try to think in these terms when difficult situations come. Here's your opportunity to do some good, to do something noble, to do something honorable, to do something really helpful and compassionate. Because the world really needs as much honor and nobility and compassion as we can, as we can muster. If you wait for other people to behave in that way, then you're going to be waiting for a long time. But you can decide it can start with you, okay? With each of us starting, there's more hope. There's actually that's the only way that there is any hope for us. And so we take the dross and the, and the base metal of our human life and we turn into the gold of a good mind. That's the most important alchemy of all.